Seven, six. Ladies and gentlemen, it is 11.55 on December 18th, 2015. And before me, about five to six hours of Soma. This is my second introduction. I did the first introduction, and what it turns out was happening was a mouse error. Enwrapped in my ability to solve tech problems. And by that I mean, I don't know, it started working just fine just now. Everyone waited with bated breath, and we have achieved a video game. BAM! So, I have seen about the first two minutes of this game, and we're gonna go ahead and see those first two minutes again. Uh, but of course, uh, we have to we have to tell the same story that we said before, which is that played Amnesia about um, not now Despy played Amnesia, I guess in 2011 it was. Wow, that was a long time ago, and people loved seeing me get the shit scared out of me. And of course, at the start of that, I was I don't get scared by scary games, but that was the start of me actually becoming completely unsettled and bothered playing scary games. So I stopped around 2013. We, we did okay in 2012. Uh, played a couple of games like um, the game with the pages, Slenderman. <sighs> played through Machine for Pigs. <sighs> Didn't do anything in 2014. That was great. That was a good year. Didn't do anything. And then for Halloween this year, Soma was coming up. There's BlizzCon. I didn't want to do anything around BlizzCon. I was already under the pressure from that event and I had the extra stress. That was what I was telling myself why I wasn't going to play Soma. And then, I think one of the very first subs, probably, or definitely one of the very first, but maybe, let's just go ahead and call it Catbert, the first sub. The very first subscriber to Day9TV, over four years ago, at BlizzCon came up to me and said, gotta play Soma. We're gonna play Soma. A shout out once again to Catbert. We're gonna do a new game. Uh, yeah, we're gonna override it. Let's do it! The Burning Soda says, hey, you didn't finish Machine for Pigs? Good on me. Reality is that which, when you stop believing in it, doesn't go away. From Philip K. Are you okay, Simon? I think you're bleeding. You're bleeding. 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 Oh, bleeding. That's nothing. Got Manfred here. My brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Got my little bunny. Help yeah, me out. Take this. No, here, that, take this. For for that's scan. for the scam. Yeah, it's green. Oh, I just hope it's not too scary and it's just cool. Simon. Please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Oh, no. Dude, that, that buzz David, is so unsettling. Why is there never enough time? Why is there never enough time? What? Christ. I hate that. I really just don't want to answer this phone. Can I get up? No, it literally only lets me yeah, do this. I'm up. I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. I remember my brain. Right? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. I'm gonna lean away from the computer during this playthrough. Oh, we have we have a wrinkle. Oh, the wrinkle's on this side. Really, really. Well, it's fixed now. What is? Oh, is that the? Uh, that's the lamp. That's not my green screen. Okay. Hey, Simon. Boop. It's Jesse. You working this weekend or what? I knew there was something you were doing. Was it this weekend or next? Anywho, just shoot me a mail or something. Oh, it's Amnesia. I swear, that guy has the memory of a goldfish. I even sent an email to remind him, didn't I? Where did this I game has jump phone? scares. I really want to crank the gamma up super high. Get well soon, love mom with a heart. Oh wait, so I can... Okay. Very amnesia-esque already. 
pushing and pulling things. Throw that over there. Get off my desk. I gotta relieve my tension somehow. Oh, this is nice. A checkbook. From David Munchi. Subject, Neurograph Session. Date, 30 Avril, 2015. Thank you again for participating in our research. The scan will be performed at the Pace Laboratories in Toronto, but since we are guests, our access is a bit unpredictable. I will try to schedule a scan session for Saturday. I'll get back to you when confirmed. Neurograph session. New prescription. We haven't screamed yet! Woo! Hell yeah. From Aaron Peaky. Subject, new prescription. You know, if, if I could, I would just, just check the email for the rest of the game, and I would be okay with that. Dear Mr. Jared, I'm happy to hear your headaches have become less frequent. Your latest tests show your brain is slowly recovering, but it's still too early to tell how well it will adjust to the damage. The bleeding will continue over the coming months at least, and you will need to come to the hospital a few times to drain the cavity to prevent the blood from building up pressure. Since excessive stress could be fatal, I have written a prescription for Prazosin to help you with your nightmares. Please read the instructions and medicate accordingly. Saturday off. To Jesse, the Grimoire. Saturday oh, off. Got to hit send. Hmm. Hi, Jesse. Since you probably forgot, here's me reminding you that I've got that doctor's appointment tomorrow, i.e. I'm not coming into work. This means you need to make sure you, you're actually on time to open up the store. And please unpack the boxes behind the counter. They are starting to become a workplace hazard. And books tend to sell much better if they are put on shelves where people are actually able to see them. Good luck, Princey. You'll need it. And Princey, Simon. I guess I'm Simon, and I hate Jesse. I hate him so much. I think he's incompetent. Better late than never. Simon Jarrett. Oops. Pace Lab. St. Mary Herpetal. All right. Summer's coming. Hope Birds! Coming. Mapping Minds. Widely praised as one of the most comprehensive yet accessible texts about the anatomy of the human brain, its function, and our perception of consciousness. Find out how your brain is dependent on its body, why the brain is simply not a computer, and multitude of other interesting facts that will make your head spin. This edition also includes two new chapters about the development of the brain and how it affects our behavior in different stages of our lives. What else can I interact with? I need my fluid. I know I'm a little low on fluid. Right. Watching TV gives me headaches now. Thank you, brain. Massive recoil. Oh, that's a truck in real life. It's like, Jesus, why are they playing such a high-pitched screech noise? Ooh. I have a very floaty jump. Great. Good. Cool. food. I should buy something healthier on my way home. Not a chance. I hope that's our first quest. I really should drink the tracer fluid before I go see Dr. Oh. Mushy. Well, this is fun. Where's the tracer fluid? I guess it's not anywhere here. I just like I like living here. This is nice. Where where is the tracer fluid, honestly? So it's in here. Dude, so far we haven't freaked out yet. <laughs> you see me say that? So far we haven't wait a fucking minute. Is anyone behind this? Uh Go ahead and do some cleaning. Cool. Where's my fluid, dude? Oh my god. Okay, we got stuck. We can't find it. We don't know where it is. We can't find our fluid. Is it in the drawer? There it is. I found it. Downtown accident kills young woman. Oh. 
Yesterday, a driver distracted by her children ran a red light, causing her to blindside a car in the intersection of Bloor Street and Sapinda Road. The mother and her children, traveling in a robust SUV, were left bruised but largely unharmed. The other party was less lucky. As the car crashed into the passenger side, Ashley Hall oh, sustained devastating damages and suffocated from blood trapped in her lungs before the ambulance arrived. Her friend and driver, Simon Jarrett, 26, survived but with complicated results believed to lit him with permanent brain damage. All right, Bioshock style, man. Let's see what new spell we get. It feels like milk, but the taste is like sucking on a penny. Cinema variety. Summer blockbusters. Japanimation bigger than ever. Stunts for CGI. Bzz. Massive recoil, too. Look in every drawer. Steal every tomato. Skyrim has taught me well. Alright, so far so good. Let me go ahead and bring this chair. Put that one on the bed. If anyone comes in, I want them to be convinced that I'm crazy. Alright, let's get over this chair. Ugh. Creepiest air vent. All right. Oh, I missed the letter that was right there. There's a letter right there, man. Oh, okay. I'm cold, man. When I get nervous, I get cold. Jesse, the grimoire. Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after this scan. I also That's hate right. you. I got Matt and Chris helping me out. Matty from SNL? Uh, guess you didn't hear me. He's coming in full time. Working the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well, you know. Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Well, Good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole, you know, dying thing. <laughs> dying thing? You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. Oh, I see they like each other. I'm projecting my stress into that email. Alright, so, so I'm slowly dying and might be crazy. I really hope that this is a story-based game, because... I really like a sort of horror aesthetic. Like, I liked Jessica Jones a lot. It didn't have a lot of boo, ah, sort of things, but it had that very sort of psychological horror thing to it. I like the aesthetic of aliens a lot. Hello? Dr. Munchie? Where is everyone? I thought this place would be busy. Hmm. I just don't like being jump scared. <sighs> Let's brighten it up in here a little bit. Okay. This is the place, right? It must be. Let's just call Machi real quick. Great. Got his phone turned off. Okay. Woo! I can figure this out. Paul, where are you? We've got a few hours. I got a hold of Simon Jarrett. Let's do this. I saw your laptop in the reception. Are you already here? Call me ASAP. Scan now. Get your stuff ready. Hi, Paul. Talk to Pace about using the lab this week. I've managed to book the scanner for tomorrow morning and again on Friday. It's not a lot, but they said we could use the empty reception area as a kind of office. It would allow us to use their computers to run models, and also, if a time slot opens up, we can get in there and use the scanner rig right away. I thought we could run some tests tomorrow. We could do a scan of each other. 
to learn the equipment. It's supposed to be pretty easy. On Friday, I'm hoping Dr. Aaron Peake will send somebody over. She has a patient who was recently in a car crash. It should be interesting. David. I am freezing cold. I'm actually going to walk away after I read this last email and get my sweater. From David Munchie, we were locked out. I found some extra time in the lab today. Unfortunately, nobody told us about the code change, so I called security. Talked to Professor Wei to have him vouch for our project and finally got a hold of some haunch over at Pace's legal department that could re-grant his permission to use his lab. I'm not allowed to repeat the code in mails and texts, but I'll leave a note or something in case we forgot. Stay here. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Kitties. Where's the sweater, kitty? Hi, baby cat. Snuggly, I'm snuggly, I'm warm. Whew. <sighs> Feels good. <sighs> Is this the small sweater? Oh gosh. I suddenly took the wrong size home from the office, so I have a very small sweater and a Normal size sweater. This feels like the small one, but I'm cold and I want to keep playing. Let's do this. Dude. All right, there should be a note somewhere around here. Huh. Page 56. Neurographica. Mm -hmm. uh, moment death. Tweak for right length. Oh my god, is it 2501? God, I hope it's 2501. Come on, one time. Hold shift while moving to run? Well, guess I'm not gonna press that button. Any Anyone who doesn't know, Anyone know? My name is Project 2501. Ghost in the Shell, anyone? Learn my lesson in amnesia. Brain stuff throughout. I hope that this is atmospheric. I hope that this is an atmospheric game with some horror aesthetic. It doesn't have scary things happening. Servers and cables and cords and all sorts of good stuff. So what we're learning today is about the brain. Looks like <laughs> Rejustice is atmospheric as hell. Things are trying to kill you also. Oh, that sucks. Is this a mini game here? Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah, it's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes, yes I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. I'm so glad it's an actual person. This is so sick. 
Brains. Brains. Cables. Computers. Brains. Please don't touch anything. <laughs> so, what exactly are we doing? We're gonna do a scan of your brain. Then we build a computer <laughs> model of it and bombard it with stimuli. The program will help us to quickly iterate your treatment plan until it's fully optimized. In short, develop the perfect treatment for your condition. So it's not just a study, this will actually help me. I should hope so. Otherwise, this would be a huge waste of time. <laughs> the mayo, but I don't know. Don't ask me, I'm just a mister. <laughs> it's like, uh, don't ask me, I'm, I'm just a mere mister. Ooh, it's so damn cold. Well, total darkness is not one of my favorite things. All right, let me just get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. Toronto, Canada, Munchie. Born 1988, July 16th. Right. Last oh my god, I'm young. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. I'm gonna see something in the background. Let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? Say cheese. Mr. Munchie? Did something go wrong? This isn't funny. I can't see shit. I, I'm not supposed to put myself in... Get here. Unlock terminal from service console. Okay. Ah, shit. Okay. Service console. Omni tool chip installer. Build, shape, and optimize your Omni tool with fully customized tools and assistance. Toolbox. Toolbox. I need an Omni tool. I have a sensation that we are not going to get far in this game. So what does the Omni tool look like? So this is all blood. Great. This is... Ah. Uh, Dude, the worst part of these games is just getting stuck. And being horrified. I can't open the door. Let's make some noise.
Ladies and gentlemen, we have found the core mechanic. A locked door. Oh, shit. This shit again. God, I'm gonna curse a lot today. We're gonna... It's working better than expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. Call Permaseal as many as you can. Rather not take any chances. Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? All done. Should keep most of them out. I'm on my way to lock out the comp set. Just make sure to leave a way out of here. Trust me, I'll get you to stay to safe and sound. We just need to make sure we're leaving our power running so we don't have to return. I hear that. See you back at camp. We're gonna do a lot of cursing. We're gonna do a lot of cursing. How did I do that? Alright, let's just comb my hair like a suave boss. I have such a deep respect for frictional games. Nobody makes games like this. This is not like a, a common genre. The run around helplessly with nothing to do genre of games. Like, let's be really honest here. There's nothing to do. Ah, oh, fuck, whatever's behind the door! Okay. And I am more than happy to spend the rest of the day just in this room. Pooping. Putting the lid down like a gentleman. I have so much respect for how beautifully done these games are. But... I would be cool if they never made these games ever again. And I have a sort of irrational anger towards them. You're gonna see spring up throughout this as I get as I get frightened. me making the noise. Okay. Just gotta put one foot in front of the other. And by that I mean hold W. Pathos 2 ups along. If you jump at me, I'm gonna fucking scream at you. Oh shit. Want some structure gel? Yeah, you want that structure gel. I'm cutting off the text a little bit. Now, okay? Yeah, you're creepy as hell, so I'm gonna shut you down. Don't you fucking play heartbeat it's, it sounds on me, man. Alright, just keep talking, keep moving. That's what we're going to do. Our technique is going to be to try to out-talk the game. So there's definitely some terrifying, horrifying robot monsters that are leaving. Okay, nope, we just got to keep talking. Got to keep moving. It's kind of crazy how your instincts as an animal pop in. Where I'm like... Hey, maybe I should just not move until I'm 100% confident that everything's going to be okay. 
Maybe that's what I should do. Gently jiggle. Don't jiggle too hard now. <laughs> well. It's at times like these when I really hope that I can just hide inside of a cardboard box a la Metal Gear Solid. Where's the monster at, man? My wish right now... My wish right now is to die. monster around here? Standing up. Sitting back down. Build a fort? Oh, I would love to build a fort. You know, can we just all agree that that was cruel? That it's like, hold control to not be noticed as much by enemies. There's no enemies. There's no monsters. Oh, thank God we get to read. Oh, dude, this is how I'm going to read now. At extreme angles, the Omni Tool is an advanced interface for accessing, managing, and controlling computerized systems. The onboard intelligence includes an open set of behaviors and protocols to enable the user to automate routine actions through basic logical charts. Over time, the Omni Tool will automatically adapt its programs to cover subconscious behavior to optimize work and minimize user error. The Omni Tool has a short range signal useful for basic or automated actions such as opening doors while performing complex operations. The Omni Tool should be physically connected to the workstation or terminal. To upgrade your device, simply slide operators into the main auxiliary slot. The main slot has a standard C2-2 connector, which allows the user to fit most market Cortex chips into the Omni tool. Note that introducing an additional AI will override the onboard intelligence. The auxiliary slot is a multi-connected fitting, a large range of tool chip models, including but not limited to. I'm not going to read those. That would be real embarrassing if I was like, quickly buy time to not be afraid. Oh, that, that's my whole inventory, okay. This is so creepy. Does F hold, does holding F turn on a flashlight? It does not. So I, I now have the Omni tool. <sighs> All right, it's gonna be a monster soon. You and I both know how these things work. You and I both know. We both know that that's how these games work. I'm literally talking, this is the worst commentary. You know there's gonna be a monster. I don't give a damn. This is not about you. What the shit? Holy. I 
don't know what to do. There was, there was like monster bits. Well, let's go ahead. Oh! Ah! Oh! Oh, okay. I don't, uh, there's no saves. Great. Ah! Fuck! Thanks, loud object. Alright. Swipe Omni Tool. Swipe Omni Tool. Miramosa says, as someone with the whore tolerance of a paranoid five year old on speed, I'm really happy you're playing this for me. Well, I can't. Okay, so here's something that I really hate when it's like. I just hate a lot, actually. Mostly what I'm doing right now is hate. Ting. Like I can't I can't get in here. Oh, and I can't see anything, and it's dark. Go past the electrical tubes. Oh man. And it's like playing this really grim music. Well, I dirtle around and have no clue what to do. Okay, so here's where we were. Maybe I missed something in here. Maybe I missed something really obvious. I feel like this table of things... These chips look like Omni Tool chips, I assume. Yeah, I just can't handle how dark it is because it makes me lean forward. Do you want me to up the gamma at all? I don't know what it looks like on stream. It's okay enough for me. Don't change it. Okay, cool. You got it. Up the gamma a little bit. Oh, <laughs> those are Allen wrenches, Sean. Whoops! Oh, looks like a computer chip. I haven't gone back to the start. Okay, so by popular request, we're going to up the gamma a little bit. We don't want to do it too much. I can't see anything. Oh god. Oh, I didn't want to have to do this, but let's go back to the start. I hate how much noise I make. I don't like how much noise I make, to be perfectly clear with everyone here. I'm so glad that we are 35 minutes through. Because I gotta stop at 5.30. So we got five hours. Who hates this game? I do, baby. Feels of frictional games is specifically mean to me. Oh 
Omni tool. And monster noise while it's loading. Service console up to three, including pilot seat activated. Woo! System status. Run setup. Warning. Remote access denied. Warning. Servers offline. Warning. Main power suspended. Initiate wow setup. A dot. 41 IU. Program unreliable. Denied. Emergency systems. 13 days remaining. Do you think we're underground? Overground? In space? In Utah? Who knows? Back. Speed progress. 5-6-S. Scan. SJ. Theta Cash. Graphs. Legacy Dash. DMSJ. Unfold. Sub Simon Jarrett. Ah, uh, David Munchy. Toronto. Operation unavailable. Complete. Huh. Omni tool. Let's manage this tool. Welcome back, Louise Moron. <laughs> Louise Moron, your Omni tool is in perfect condition, but not fitted with a tool chip. Note that without the tool chip, your FST kit will be unavailable, including your cross site security access. To continue using your designated your privileges, please insert a tool chip. I run an update. Manage Cortex chip. Welcome back. Omni tools in perfect condition. No Cortex chip. You're currently using, uh, being serviced by the default onboard intelligence, Helper Jane. Note that installing Cortex chip will override the helper and may severely alter your user experience. Oh. Orientation. I told you that field technicians would get full access throughout Pesos 2. I'm here to tell you that's not going to happen. Don't yeah. get me wrong. I don't want to get in your way. We need you guys to keep this place up and running. But there needs to be at least some level of security on these things. I don't want to hear you barge into some quarantined area at Omicron hmm. and just knock down the whole place with some virus or whatever the hell they're doing over there. This is what you can do. You'll be able to use it to open doors, basically all of them. If you can't, there's something wrong or someone didn't want you in there. Then what do you do? You shove that Omnitool into a terminal and see if you can't get around it somehow. I mean, hmm. sometimes you'll need to get into places where you don't belong. Just find a way. You're an engineer for crying out loud. Okay. What else? Take care of your gear. Don't be an asshole. That's about it, really. My name is John Strohmeyer, Pathos 2 security operative. I got an office at Theta. Come see me if you got any issues you can't handle yourself. Good luck. Manage tool chip. How do I insert? Bam. Tool chip found. Tool chip found. Manage tool chip. Welcome back, Louise Moron. Your Omni tools in perfect condition. Fitted with tool chip. It's updated. <laughs> So they talked about this. Jeez, it is really hard for me to remember to keep talking because I just get distracted and scared, and I need to, I need to continue to talk to unscarify, to dodge the scarification. So like they talked about this in uh, a GDC. I feel like there's nothing there, and they're just assholes. But yeah, they talked about one of the best ways to scare someone is to give them nothing to do. Like, I, I wandered down here, I got a tool. I walked up here, I found a door I couldn't get through. I wandered all the way back. I got my card. 
I'm talking louder. I can feel myself being more intense. And now I have to walk all the way the fuck back here? It's gonna be right around the fucking corner. Who's ready to YOLO? Oof. Shut. Shut. And we're gonna take a break. When we come back, we're gonna continue to be upset. BRB, your restroom time for me.